All right, well, this is this pill bottle uh, electric motor that I built, and I added a second coil to it, so it's got two coils on it now. And I just got it running on a 5 farad super capacitor. And the circuit is that uh, simple electronic pulse motor circuit that I'll give a link to. Uh, basically, one coil is a trigger coil that turns the transistor on, and then the other coil over there is the drive coil. And uh, it's just running tonight on a 5 farad supercapacitor. And uh, it, um, it has a ball bearing in the front of it now. Take it apart so you'll see the inside here. And what it, what it is is a neodymium magnet on a brass shaft. Um, and it's magnetized on the outside surface. Then, like I say, I put a, a little uh, RC ball bearing on it. And then the other end is just the uh, pill bottle. Uh, I have another one of these that has the bearing in both sides. It doesn't make all that much difference, to say the truth. And then there's the two coils inside of it. And both of them are air core coils, uh, 30 gauge wrapped up on a plastic sewing machine bobbin. And um, it just holes cut in the side of that plastic bottle, and you stick the uh, coil in there. And if you cut the hole just right, it just stays in there. If you don't, you have to put a piece of tape on it. And um, the uh, simple electronic circuit, I added a 1K resistor for the base feed, and then um, an LED from the collector to the input. And I'll see if I can get this back together again and get it to run. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. There it goes. And there it is running. And like I say, it's a it's a real simple um, circuit. Here we have the dark and see the LED a little bit better. The LED goes from the collector to the positive feed on this setup. Uh, you can go anywhere you want to with it. It's the uh, inductive kickback. And then um, I'm feeding this uh, little supercapacitor, which is a 2.7, with uh, about uh, 2.5 volts. Anyway, that's the latest for this little pill bottom motor.